Ryerson University's one-year-old law school was officially named today in honor of one of Hamilton's most storied citizens. Lisa Hefner has more on why Lincoln Alexander was chosen to represent Toronto's newest law school. Lincoln Alexander learned early on that if he wanted to live in an equitable world, he'd have to build it himself. The naming of the Lincoln Alexander School of Law has been in the works for a while, but his family has had to keep it a secret until now, even from students in the first cohort, which wrapped up its first year with a celebration and naming ceremony this evening. Lincoln Alexander's granddaughter knows some of the students. It's kind of a, a newer, um, progressive type of program compared to the traditional style of studying law, I think. so. It kind of goes with who my grandfather was, and I think that the students feel that, and they're excited that, you know, it's kind of someone cool to name the school after. Unanimously, everyone agrees that he was a very special man. Um, so I'm really delighted to be the founding dean of a law school that is going to be named after him. Dean Donna Young says she feels kinship with Lincoln Alexander, even though she never met Canada's first black MP, cabinet minister and lieutenant governor. Both of them were born in Canada to Jamaican mothers and both went to Osgoode Law School about 50 years apart. Lincoln Alexander was a trailblazer. He tried to do things differently. And, um, you know, again, exemplifying what we're trying to do at the law school. He did go to McMaster University and he studied political science there. And he did go out into the working world and try to establish himself a, a job. And he was denied at the time because of the color of his skin. And that kind of pushed him to want to um, make a career for himself and kind of not be told what he could or couldn't do, and that's actually the reason why he chose to go into law school. A portrait of Alexander will greet entrance to the law school at Ryerson, which occupies a temporary space on the fourth floor of a campus building renovated for the purpose, or did before the pandemic forced all Ontario education online. The school mandates at least half the students be from diverse backgrounds, and staff also reflect that vision. The dean says the law school has been overwhelmed by support from people who met Lincoln Alexander before he died in 2012. He was extremely warm and he touched people. Um, and that personal side of him, uh, I think is also incredibly important because what we are trying to do at our law school is to build a culture of care and representation and respect. Next January 2022, Lincoln Alexander would have turned 100. His family says a law school legacy is a fitting way to celebrate. Lisa Hefner, CHCH News.